Like many millennials, I grew up playing Zoo Tycoon, and I can tell you from my years of experience that running a zoo is no walk in the park. So out of curiosity, we're gonna find out what happens when we let AI be in charge of Planet Zoo for a day. If you haven't met her already, this is Lee, my AI doppelganger running on ChatGPT. Today, we're putting her in charge of Wild Lee Park, a brand new zoo brimming with potential. But that's not all. To mix things up, we've created 12 different versions of Lee, from a cut throat business tycoon to a prehistoric cavewoman and even a passionate activist, each persona has just 10 minutes to make their mark. Will AI create a zoo utopia or a hilarious disaster? Get ready to witness the most extraordinary and unpredictable zoo management you've ever seen. Hello, Eco Warrior Lee. Welcome to the zoo. Now, we are starting out from scratch. We have nothing in our park yet or in our zoo. So how would you like to kick things off? Let's break the ice with some polar pals, shall we? Okay. Get me a family of polar bear istas. They're baristas in winter, did you know? And throw okay, in a grove bears. of evergreens around their space. Okay, how many polar bears would you like? Get me three, like okay. the number of layers in an Eskimo pie. Okay, we're just gonna get this little trade center. Terrain modification failed. What do you mean terrain modification failed? I don't know why that's not working. We don't have any vets or caretakers or anything like that to help take care of the animals or deliver them. Would you like to hire any staff? Let's bring in a dynamite team of vets and caretakers. Okay. And remember, every worker must bring their own reusable water bottle. Okay. Or they're out. Okay. As they say, hydrate, don't devastate. <laughs> That's a keeper uh, and a vet. Okay, we're just going to get one of each. In the polar bear habitat, what do you want to put in there? Let's start with some ice cold water for our fluffy friends, ice prancers. Throw in some fish filled enrichment toys for play. But remember, okay. no plastic, it's nasty. Yeah. And for that natural touch, let's add a majestic glacier replica. Okay. Remember I the dig? mantra? Nature's play all the way. Beautiful. Sounds good. Okay, is it because the terrain is weird? Because because if you look at this, why did I choose this? Also, what happened to my staff? Are they just, what are you guys doing in here? What's happening, guys? <laughs> Maybe the save is bugged. Okay, hold on. We're starting over. Cancel everything. Okay, we're just gonna quickly get back to where we were. She had two minutes left. I'm just gonna start the timer now so that when we get to two minutes, hopefully we're there. She did want some evergreen trees around it. All right, nice. Okay, fish feeder box. This is plastic though. Block of frozen fish. There we go. She wanted fish and no plastic. So there's some frozen fish. Majestic glacier replica. What does a glacier look like? Everybody stop fighting. <laughs> I'm making you a nice home. You're gonna feel really good about it. I need a staff room and a keeper hut. Okay, should we add those? Of course, Ash, but let's make them eco-friendly, eh? Okay. Pink bamboo walls for the staff room and mm. a keeper hut with mm -hmm. a green roof. Mm -hmm. And let's put a recycling revolution station in each. Okay. Remember, if you're not recycling, you're not really living. Okay, facts. Uh, many things, tickets are underpriced. Oh, we're getting complaints for the guests saying that our tickets are underpriced. Should we raise the prices? Bump it up a bit, but remember, we're not money grubbers. Okay. Let's set adult tickets at dollar thirty and oh. kiddo tickets at dollar fifteen. Okay. Every extra buck goes to my latest campaign, Save the Whisker Twisters. <laughs> you know, the sea otters. Because nothing says activism like a well-funded sea otter love fest. Okay, so she wants them even cheaper. Okay, Eco Warrior Lee, any final words for us before you head off and we have somebody else take your job? Don't forget to serenade our fluff noodle pandas with their eco anthems. What? Keep that zookeeper spirit thriving like a rainforest, buddy. Will do, buddy. All right, next one we're gonna do is uh, the Capitalist Crusader. So basically, basically the complete opposite of what we just had. All right. Hello, Capitalist Lee. It's nice to have you on board. What would you like to do first? Hike up those ticket prices. All right. Say $1.10 for adults and $1.07 for kids. That's it. No one's going to pay peanuts for a polar bear experience, That's Capice. It. As for the vet surgery and quarantine, we'll need to squeeze those in. Okay. But remember, every square inch wasted is a plushie stand lost. Okay. And don't forget a gift shop at the exit so folks can't leave without passing shop. through a sea of souvenir temptation. About the security is guard, the let's hire one, but make him wear a bear costume. I don't... In capitalism, the only thing more potent than a bear is a bear market, Ash. Oh, a bear and market. And right now, we're bullish on this zoo. Cha-ching. So, in terms of the prices, uh, we can only move them in dollar increments. Do you still want them to keep at around a dollar then? Bump those prices up to dollar five a pop. 
shop for a start. Gotta make sure we're not practically giving away this polar bear you experience <laughs> for free. Cha-ching! Just to clarify, you can go anywhere between $1 to $100. Are you sure you want to keep it at around a dollar? Oh, I've got your dollar increments right here, buddy. Okay. Let's go all in. Crank that ticket price up to $1.50, adult or child. This isn't just any zoo, it's a Lee Zoo. That's right, put that in your capitalist pipe and smoke it. <laughs> okay, Lee. We can only set the prices to whole numbers. So like $1, $2, $3. We can't do any cents afterwards. If you want, I can round up to $2, but that's still super cheap, but it's up to you. Let's crank that dial till it screams for mercy. We're going for $100, no less. Okay. <laughs> Remember, the first capitalist landed on the moon by selling tickets for $100 a ride. Uh-huh, that's how capitalism works. We're not here to make friends. We're here to make money. Cha-ching. Great, that's gonna do well. What would you like to do next? Now let's flood the place with animal-themed merchandise. Okay. Stuffed animals, t-shirts, mugs, animal onesies, okay. you name it. Okay, so we currently have one gift shop. How many more would you like? How are the polar bears doing? Are we doing okay over here? They're fighting again? Oh, one is never enough, Ash. Let's go for a gift shop at every corner. Okay. Seven more to be exact. Seven more? Remember, in capitalism, the sky is not the limit. It's just the view. Cha-ching. All right, we're gonna have to add seven more of these buggers. Can I just add one of these on, on each of these areas? Okay, one uh, buggers, two buggers, three buggers, four buggers, five buggers, six buggers, and seven buggers. Okay, just so you know, uh, we're having issues with our polar bears uh, fighting due to overcrowding. Do you wanna do anything about that or no? Also, we have seven more gift shops added. So what would you like to do next? Sell one of the polar bears, Ash. Oh. It's like I always say, if life hands oh. you a bear, sell it for a profit. Oh. Meanwhile, put up signs in all new gift this shops that say, injured. adopt a polar bear today. <laughs> Make believe capitalism, baby. Cha-ching. All right, you're gonna get sold. Sorry. No, she wants a sign. We'll just pretend that this says polar bear for sale. Grizzly bear, that's similar. Why are you vertical? You know what? That's fine. Step on the bears and you'll see that they're for sale. <laughs> Beautiful, done. All right, capitalist Lee, that was a good run. Any last words before you get booted for our next zoo owner? Never stop oh. exploiting opportunities, okay. even if they seem to be hibernating. And remember, money doesn't grow on trees, but it does hang from merch shop hangers. Okay. Cha -ching. I can't sell this bear, so this bear is just gonna live in the trade center now. <laughs> now, next one we're going to do uh, is Cave Woman Lee. Maybe the Cave Woman will turn things around for us and make things better, you know? Hello, Cave Woman Lee. What would you like to do first? Grunt, bear, bear need mate, mate oh. good, make okay. more bear, shop. Many. Lower shiny stone price. Bring more man to see beast. We want rock. Rock good. Rock and bear home. Calm bear. Okay. So for the additional bear, would you like to buy a new bear or add back the bear that we have in the trade center? I think she wants more. Bear in center good. Okay. Bring back. Bring Fight back. bad. Okay. Need bear peace. Use okay. rock. Rock make peace. Oh, okay. Bring rock, big rock to bear home. Ah, okay. She wants to add rocks to the house. How much would you like to uh, decrease the ticket prices to? Five shiny stone. Five, Five good. Okay. More man come. Sea beast, grunt, happy Lee, happy beast, happy man. Okay, beautiful. Rocks, 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 rocks. Okay, the dangerous fighting due to, uh, okay. We have more fighting of polar bears due to overcrowding. Do you want to do anything about that? More space. Make big, more water, more rock, less fight, grunt, happy bear, happy Lee. Okay, so more, more space, more space. Also, did you want more gift shops as well? Because you said more shop. <gasps> Is that a baby or is that a regular? Oh my God, we have a baby polar bear. No more shop, more beast, more tree, more rock. More People beast? come see beast, grunt, not shop, beast. Oh, okay. We have a baby polar bear. Okay, so do you want new animals? And if so, what animal? Do we need more Me rocks? happy, baby bear, grr, new beast, grr, mm -hmm. big cat. Tiger, stripe, bring, grunt, Lee wants see. Okay, how many tigers would you like? Two tiger, male, female, make small tiger, grunt, bring now. Okay, okay, I'm working on it. Would you like a Bengal tiger or Siberian tigers? Bengal tiger, Bengal. big, stripe, strong, good, bring now, grunt. What would you like to add to the Bengal tiger uh, habitat? Okay, what do we have in here? Big rock, water, tree, cave, big space, run, play, grunt, good luck, bring now. What? So rocks, tree, cave, big rock, 
Water, tree, cave, big space. Okay. Hello, tiger. I have no idea if this is big enough for them. Get some trees in here. Perfect. Make you guys happy. Chat would like to ask you a question. Who wins between a bear or a tiger? Ah, an animal has escaped. Oh, sorry. I was in the bear. mic. Big, strong, fierce, but tiger. Quick, cunning, ah! fight close, grunt, not know nature decide. Why are you out? Tiger, get back. Oh, okay. Just cat. Wait, she's just jumping over the fence? We're gonna fix this. I don't know how big these need to be. Beautiful. Now let's just add our rocks and then we can move on. Okay, cave woman Lee, this is your last few words. What would you like to say to your guests before we find a new owner? Me, Lee, say you come. You see, animals, rocks, fun. Bring tribe, feel magic. Ooga booga. <laughs> Thank you, Cave Woman Lee. That was great. So far, she's been my favorite. I don't know about you guys, but I think she was funny. Let's go to the next wheel and figure out who our next zoo owner is going to be today. Business Tycoon. Let's go. All right. Hello, business The person Lee. Welcome to the zoo. You are now taking over after a couple of other zoo owners. What would you like to do first? First order of business. Okay. Jack up the ticket prices to $20. $20? They'll pay for the chance to see our tigers. Do pull Polar bears do tricks. I want a daily show, polar plunge or something. Okay. Ash, in the business world, it's all about maximizing the assets you got. It, it Even is. if that means making a polar bear scuba dive. Okay, do you want to do print marketing, TV marketing, or online marketing for the polar bear issue? Told me Let's go friends. online, Ash. Okay. It's the wild, wild web out there. Okay. Low viral investments, videos. high returns. Let's, Let's do make it. those polar bears go viral. Okay. Add a few fancy words like exclusive, limited time, and free polar bear hugs. <laughs> <laughs> Make it impossible to resist, will ya? Okay, we have that set up. What would you like to do next? We Is need it? to maximize our retail oh, outlets, Ash. Okay. I heard in an entrepreneurship podcast that for every additional gift shop, the visitor spending rate doubles. Not sure if that's more true, but sounds shop. good to me. Add four more shops, stat. Yay. Let's bring in the big bucks. <laughs> this is just a gift shop zoo. There's more gift shops here than animals. What's next? Let's put our money where the monkey is, Ash. Oh. I mean, let's invest in some monkeys. Okay. They're high ROI, low maintenance creatures. Ah. Ah. Plus, people can't resist ah. their antics. Okay. They're like furry little money magnets. Okay, furry little, uh, okay, hold on, two things. Okay, I will add monkeys. Uh, what kind of monkeys would you like to add? Also, we have polar bears that are fighting due to overcrowding. Do we care about that? Also, uh, we don't have any donation bins anywhere in the zoo. Do you want to add anything like that to help bring more money in? I Bonobos, they're the Bonobos. talkative types. Okay. Okay. And chatter brings cha-ching. As for the polar cha bears, sell the extra. Their ROI is colder than their habitat. Oh. Overcrowding. <laughs> As for donation bins, okay. great idea. Put them next to every crying child. Emotional <laughs> manipulation, Ash. It's entrepreneurship okay. 101. You are outsider overpopulation. Okay, you've got to go. Sorry, you're out. And then we're going to build over here the bonobo exhibit. How many bonobos would you like to get? And male or female, like how many of each? Let's get three females and two males. Keep them guessing and keep them interested. It's like a soap opera, but with more bananas. And, and remember in business, Gender equality only matters if it can raise our bottom line. Okay, we really? <laughs> what? Why? 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 So for the bonobo habitat, do you want to add any sort of like uh, rocks, caves, shelters, uh, like things for them to play with? Anything like that. Also, we only have one keeper and he's kind of like running around by himself trying to take care of all the animals. Should we order or like hire any more keepers or caretakers or any other kind of staff? Oh, donation boxes. We still need to add that. Let's do that in the meantime. Beautiful. This is gonna bring more money in. Ash, you're thinking too small. Oh. Why provide rocks when we can have gold painted boulders? Diamonds right. for caves? Let's give those bonobos a taste of luxury. And as Diamonds? for keepers, let's not hire more. Oh. Instead, let's get our current keeper a pair of rollerblades. Okay. He'll be faster, and it's a great <laughs> sideshow for the visitors. Perfect. Efficiency and entertainment all in one. Okay, sounds good. So don't hire anybody else. Uh, she only has about a minute left as the business tycoon. Let's just add a couple of things. This is the closest I have to gold, which is to say it's not gold, but the closest I have to gold is, is nothing. So, okay, that's not a half bad exhibit for like two seconds. Okay, business tycoon Lee, do you have any last words before we take you out back and uh, choose another owner? I might be leaving, but remember, Lee's golden rule of entrepreneurship. Okay. The best investment is a zoo without a zookeeper. Oh. Make of that what you will, over and out. So do we get rid of the zookeeper? 
The habitat has damaged barriers. Well, that's a problem for the future owner, okay? Then we'll figure that out. The next one's gonna be Time Traveler Lee. All right. Time Traveler Lee thinks that she is from 1905. So she doesn't like any modern technology or anything like that. Thinks it's all weird. Hello, Time Traveler Lee. What is the first thing you would like to do? Well, Ash, my dear, back in my day, we could keep polar bears on a leash. No oh. fences needed. But today, we'll get a mechanic yep. to fix that wall. Okay. Can't have bears <laughs> running amok. And did you know in 1905, we had penny farthing races with tigers? Oh. Bet you didn't. I didn't Let's know lower that. the ticket price to $1.15. Dollar $1.15. Want everyone to admire Mother Nature's artwork, okay. don't we? We can only lower the prices to a dollar even because we can only do whole numbers. So do you want it to a dollar? A dollar, you say? Back in my day, that could buy you a dozen horses. <laughs> but fine, let's go with $16. Oh. And make sure to leave some chestnuts out for okay. the bonobos. Did you know Chest? chestnuts were used as currency in 1905? Oh, was Yes, it? indeed. Squirrels were the richest back then. All right, we've uh, changed the ticket prices to $16. What would you like to do next? Remember to add an exhibit of otters, Ash. Oh, okay. They're like the wet squirrels of the sea, you know? And back in my day, otters were our primary we mode have... of transport across rivers. As for gift shops, reduce them to eight. Too many shops ruin the nature view. Oh. Shop less, gaze at otters more, I always say. Okay, we can have up to four otters. At least that's what's available in the animal market. How many otters would you like us to get? So four let's... otters, just like the four horsemen of the apocalypse, but cuter and less ominous. Okay. They're like the fuzzy four. robot boats of the aquatic realm. Let's hey, get them fuzzy, all, Ash. Fuzzy we can start a water taxi service, not unlike the good old otter-driven mail system of 1905. What? You can say history lesson. No, listen, she's from 1905. So if she says that this stuff happened, then I believe her. Okay, now that we have four exhibits, I feel like it's getting a lot of work for the keepers and caretakers. Do you want to add any more staff? Back in my day, we didn't have all these fancy jobs. Oh. We woke up with the roosters, fed the otters, and got on with our day. Okay. But times are a-changing. They are. So let's add two keepers. Okay. Just enough to keep the otters in check and the visitors informed about how we used to communicate with Morse code via otter squeaks. What? <laughs> we'll do one and two. What kind of stuff should we add into the otter exhibit, do you think? We're a not... swanky <laughs> slide, my dear Ash. A swanky otters slide? Otters love a good slippery dip. And it reminds me of the water shoots we had for entertainment in 1905. Oh. Powered entirely by otter labor. Oh, really? Add some leafy nooks for a touch for of the old green, and maybe one of those fancy automated fish dispensers. Okay, fish dispenser. Uh, we can give them a rubber duck. That's kind of fun. Oh yeah, we have this little jetty. Yeah, here you go. The block of frozen fish. Let's just use that as the fish dispenser that she wanted. All right, time is up as zoo owner. Do you have any last words for your residents? Ah, like my feathery, scaly, and furry friends. You've been a hoot and a half. Remember the world is your oyster, or in this case, your enclosure. <laughs> Keep your what? spirits high and your tails higher. And for goodness sake, don't forget the first rule of survival. Avoid the teapot rides and the cotton candy. Those are pure modern madness. Okay. Until we meet again in Great. 1905. We have a few more left here. Our next zoo owner is going to be the technology enthusiast. Hello, tech enthusiast Lee. Welcome to the zoo ownership job. What is the first thing that you would like to do as the zoo owner? Hey bro, let's leverage some AI for routine management. Okay. Next, jack up the ticket prices to $1.50. We're rolling in a top tier zoo, not a bargain bin. Let's also see about accepting payments in crypto. Hey. Beep boop, time to turn this zoo into a tech wonderland. So unfortunately, the technology hasn't been invented yet to replace our employees' jobs with AI. So do you have any other suggestions? Bummer, bro. Was... All right, let's invest in training then. Turn our staff into tech whizzes. Ooh. Also, get more data points. I mean, animals. Okay, so Rare training. ones. Okay. They're like the Bitcoin of the zoo world. Rare animals. Beep boop. Okay, a couple questions. We only currently have one vet who can do the training. We should be hire more vets to train up. Also, we have a couple of otters that are diseased and need vets. And if we train all of our vets, then we can't care with for our animals, which may or may not be important to you. I don't know. So what would you like to do? Whoa, bro, that's a data overload. Oh, sorry. All right, hire more vets, okay. stat. But let's keep training a priority too. Also, let's give our AI-driven otters a proper send-off. Maybe a virtual memorial. Beep boop, bro. They're not dead. They're diseased. They're not deceased. <laughs> 
So they're still alive. So let's not do a memorial unless you really want to in advance. Um, also, how many more vets would you like to order or not order higher? Bro, you had me running a funeral code there. Sorry. All right, keep the otters alive. Okay. Order up five more vets. Five. They're like okay. the GPUs of our operation. The GPUs. Let's keep those data points healthy. Beep, Two. boop. Why did you say that so aggressively? Also, while talking to you, I was just notified that guests actually think that our tickets are overpriced. Do you still want to keep it at 50 bucks? Let's go crypto. Lower it to 40 bucks. But let's start taking Bitcoin too. Okay. Beep boop. We're, taking... We're embracing the future. We are embracing the future, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, we are now doing crypto. We have tickets to 40 and we've got training going. All right. What would you like to do next? <gasps> We're about to have a baby. Let's automate food delivery for our AI driven life forms. Get some drones up in the air, bro. <laughs> and add a VR station for the guests. They need a dose of the matrix. Beep boop. Okay, what's something that we could add that's like kind of similar? Let's just add some screens. I think that'll be close enough. That's basically VR, right? So I'm adding these uh, VR experiences or, you know, the, the education stands, the closest thing we have. Um, and we're being notified that we don't have enough power. Should we work on adding electricity? Bro, let's go solar. Okay. Slap those panels everywhere. We're running this zoo on sun juice. Also throw in some wind turbines for good measure. Beep boop. Okay, wind turbine, solar panel, and uh, the uh, VR experiences slash information boards have been set up and it looks like your time as zoo owner is up. Do you have any last words before we hire somebody to take your place? Keep the chaos alive, bro. Okay, Remember, bro. we're not just zoo owners. We're shepherds guiding our AI-driven life forms into the future. Oh. Invest in crypto, stay plugged in, and always say beep boop. Okay, beep boop. All right, the next zoo owner that we have for today is, oh, is it gonna be a conspiracy theorist? It's the conspiracy theorist. So this one's gonna be a fun one. All right, hello, Lee, welcome to the zoo. What would you like to do first? First things first, we need to lower ticket prices. Oh, hey. $50 screams fleece the humans to fund the otter-led oh, world 40, domination. Yeah. Let's bring it down to $1.30. Next, I want you to install two-way mirrors in the bonobo exhibit. Those apes are too hey. smart. Gotta keep an eye um, on their shenanigans. You're sure the vets aren't double agents for the animals, right? I'm sure, I'm sure. By the way, we can only move the prices in dollar increments and in whole numbers. Also, we're getting complaints that we don't have ATMs. For the monkey exhibit or the bonobo exhibit, we already have two-way glass. Would you like to change that to one-way glass? Let's move the ticket price to $29. Okay. Crazy number, but that's the game. All and about right, the ATMs, right. they're all secretly mind-reading devices. Oh. But put a few in, just to keep the peace. Okay, Keep so the yes. two-way glass for the bonobos, but add one-way glass to the otter exhibit. Okay. Can't let them otters get a good look at us, can we? <laughs> How many ATMs would you like to add? Dave? Add seven ATMs, Ash. Odd numbers confuse seven. the animal spies. Oh. Plus, seven is the most powerful magical number, or so the penguins whispered to me last night. Oh. Okay, where do you want to put the ATMs? We can also just spread them throughout. Scatter them around, Ash. Okay. One mm -hmm. by the entrance, another near the food court, and place one near the reptile house. I'm convinced the lizards are running the world banks. The rest hide them in plain sight. They're watching, you know. Oh, all right, we've got all of our ATMs placed. Apparently we have a facility without power. Power, eh? There. I knew the sloths were stealing it to fuel their secret underground society. Nah, it's fine, we Let's fixed install it. a solar power station. Oh. It's clean energy and keeps the giraffes happy. Okay. They control the sun, you know. Let's put the solar panel. All right, we're all good to go there. The solar panel has been added. What would you like to do next? Good, sun-powered giraffes can't outsmart us. They can't. Now let's build a penguin enclosure. Okay. Okay. I've got a hunch those little tuxedo miscreants have... are actually double agents for the polar bears. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer, Ash. Okay, we can do either African penguin or king penguin. And how many would you like? King well... penguins, four of them. And make sure to build an underground viewing area. Folks oh. gotta witness their secret agent activities. It's all part of the grand penguin Illuminati plan, Ash. Penguins oh. control the oceans, don't they? She wants underwater. Okay, this might take the rest of her time. Beautiful enclosure, 10 out of 10. You guys couldn't do any better, okay? This is the best penguin enclosure I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's get us some freaking penguins. Okay, done. Hi, babies. Oh my God, look, look. Okay, you're complaining about going down. Oh, that was... <laughs> <laughs> no okay, let's go inside and see what this looks like. Look at that penguin! Aww, 
<laughs> okay, that's a fun experience. Okay, conspiracy theorists, Lee, we just set up the penguin habitat. Now it is time for our new zoo owner to take over. Do you have any last words before you the end of your shift? Remember, Ash, the animals are always watching. Keep an eye on those penguins. They're the masterminds. Mm. Stock up on carrots. Rabbits are planning a siege. Oh. The revolution is nigh over and out mate. Mm -hmm. All right, our next Lee for the day is going to be Zen Master Lee. Oh, this will be interesting. Hello, Zen Master Lee. What would you like to do first? Let's turn the chaos up to 11 and add an exhibit for invisible elephants. They're hard to see, but their trumpeting is quieter than a butterfly's sneeze. Make a note, we need to source magic cabbage for them. It's their favorite snack. How many invisible elephants? Let's bring in seven, Ash, just like the seven silent thunders. Remember, they love the sound of laughter, so let's place their exhibit near the entrance. This is close enough. Let's just do it over here. For these invisible elephants, do you prefer invisible African savanna elephants or invisible Indian elephants? Go with the invisible Indian elephants. Okay. Their silent trumpeting has a soothing frequency that matched the hum of the universe. Four for now. Plus, they are known to do the tango when the moon is waxing gibbous. Fascinating oh, creatures. That is... Very interestingly, what kinds of things should we have in this invisible elephant exhibit? They're gonna be even Add more Add lots upset. of hidden water fountains, Ash. Invisible <laughs> elephants love making silent splashes. And let's sprinkle in some invisible edible moon-shaped pebbles. They'll think it's a lunar buffet. Also, for some reason, they love okay. neon flamingo statues. Uh, before we finish up with the exhibit, is there anything else that you would like to do? Let's we'll see if we can get one more thing and then I can finish up this exhibit. Indeed, Ash. Install a few invisible hammocks high up in the trees. Invisible elephants are the only pachyderms that can levitate in their sleep, you see. Why are we? Oh, and let's add an invisible peanut vending machine, just as this a quirky touch. Doesn't... Sounds good? No, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, so invisible peanut machine, do you mean like a food stand for people to buy food from? No, no, Ash, it's for our invisible elephants. Oh, sorry. You know, they're the only species that can both see and operate vending machines with their trunks. Hmm. It's the elephantine way of snack shopping. Make sure to stock it with invisible peanuts though, or we might spook them. She basically just wants to add stuff for them. That's what I got from that. So we're just gonna add the stuff that she wants for them. Okay, the invisible elephants are in. They're all ready to go and we're all set. Thank Thank you so much, Zen Master Lee. Do you have any final words before we get our next zoo owner in place? Okay, we have to go see if the baby elephants are still here. Always remember, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Okay. At least that's Thank how you. it works for our glow-in-the-dark flamingos. Okay. Embrace cool. the unique chaos of nature and keep the zoo's zen intact. Oh, and don't forget to water the rocks twice a day. They love their hydration, you know. I don't want to water rocks. Look at the baby penguin! Our next zoo owner is we the party animal all right hello party animal lee welcome we have uh, an elephant exhibit with invisible indian elephants oh and it sounds like they're fighting also that they have a disease risk because we only have one caretaker and we could probably use more for the entire zoo but anyways what would you like to do first invisible elephants throwing down that's the ultimate invisible disco if you ask me it is but first let's get more caretakers on the job okay, thank you invisible or not. We can't have our elephants getting funky with diseases. Nope. Next, set up some strobe lights over the tiger exhibit and a rotating disco ball in the penguin enclosure. Okay. It's time we got this um. zoo raving. <laughs> okay, how many caretakers would you like to get? Also, I think our water pools and all the exhibits are looking a little bit dirty. Should we get water cleaners for each of those as well? We can probably add just like lights in general, like street lights basically, and then like try to find an ex something that looks like a disco ball. Ash, my dude, let's get two more caretakers for now. Okay, my dude. Health is wealth, even at a party. And yes, <laughs> clean water is key. Add a water cleaner for each exhibit. Can't have our otters swimming in a muddy mosh pit, can we? No, we cannot. Okay, we've got the sign off for the water cleaners. Okay, that's there. She wanted lights, so let's add, yeah, decorative, yeah, let's add these like lights tubes. I feel like that's the best thing we can do. Okay, let's give the tigers these. Disco ball for the penguins. What looks like a ball. Okay, we're gonna give her like two extra minutes, okay? Round shapes. Okay, this looks like a ball. This is a disco ball. We're just gonna put it there, balls, balls. 
and balls. More balls? How many balls? That's a good amount of balls, I think. Okay, we have the uh, balls added and we also have the strobing lights. What's next? Now that's what I call party preparations. Yes. Let's add some music speakers at strategic locations. Okay. We need tunes to keep this zoo shaking its tail feathers. Okay. And remember, Ash, oh, play yeah. some funky beats. Our animals are party animals too, you know. Okay, I'm gonna add the music, but we also um, have noticed that we don't have any food, drinks, or restrooms in the, in the zoo right now. Do we wanna add any or no? Party foul, Ash. We can't have guests scrambling for the bushes when nature calls. Sorry. Let's get some restrooms up and running. Okay. And food stalls, of course. Okay. Gotta fuel the party animals, both the two-legged and four-legged kind. All right, sounds good. How many of each would you like to add? All right. Let's go with three restrooms and five food stalls. Figure if we start playing Musical Chairs Lou Edition, okay. we'll know we need more. And remember, Ash, Nothing says party like a hot dog stand shaped like a giant hot dog. True. That's honestly the most party I've ever seen ever. Okay, I'm just gonna add them. Like, I, they probably need stands and stuff. I'm just adding them. Like, I don't know. The tigers probably won't like it, but we're gonna make them like it anyway. We have room for a restroom here. We can, They have to walk all the way around to get to it, but we have room for it. Okay, and then, and then <laughs> food wise. Oh, this is cute. So let's do this. Okay. Beautiful. All right, we have restrooms and food uh, stands all set up. What's the next thing you would like to do? Let's add a Dance with the Flamingos event. Oh. Just imagine, Ash, all those flamingos doing the flamingo tango. It would be the bomb.com. Dance floor optional, but highly right. recommended. I'm just going to add flamingos. How many flamingos would you like to add? I'm kind of surprised at how well this is going, to be hmm. honest. Let's kick things off with eight flamingos. Okay. And Ash, make sure we get a disco ball in that habitat. All right. Yes, Nothing nice. says flamingo fiesta like a disco ball reflection on pink feathers. Okay. So disco ball. All right. So we'll just do the flamingo exhibit. Let's go welcome our flamingo friends. Ah! They're so cute. Hello, buddies. Dangerous fight to because of overcrowding. Oh God, okay, that's gonna be a future Lee problem. Okay, Lee, we've added the flamingos. So you're all set. That was the last thing for your job. Any last words before we have the new zoo owner take over? No. Remember, to run a zoo is to run a party. Keep the vibes alive. Good. Bring the ruckus. Okay. And never forget to add toys for the animals. Never forget. Remember that time at Woodstock 94 when they forgot the mud? Don't let our zoo become that. <laughs> party on, zookeepers. <laughs> What's stock 94? Let's spin the wheel for the next one. And next up is Animal Whisperer Lee. All righty. Hello, Animal Whisperer Lee. Welcome. We are having issues with habitat cleanliness in the invisible elephant habitat because we don't have very many caretakers. We are also having some dangerous fighting in the tiger exhibit. With that said, what would you like to do first? Ash, my dear. You've got to learn to see things from the animal's point of view. Flamingos adore their reflection in the litter you see. They think it's pretty. Oh. As for the invisible elephants, they're shy. So let's give them a cloud forest to roam in. I'll entertain the tigers with a puppet show to stop the fighting. Okay. And we'll turn those gift shops into caretaker training trees. centers pronto. But first, let's gather for an animal communication session. Okay. The penguins have something to say. So basically just add more trees. All right, I added some more cloud trees into the elephant exhibit. How are those tigers doing? Also, in terms of the caretakers, do you want to hire some then? And if so, how many? Thanks for asking about our striped friends. They're feeling oddly fond of pineapples today. Okay. As for the caretakers, let's hire giraffe high worth of them. That's about seven, I reckon. And Ash, okay. always remember, <laughs> otters can't be trusted with calculators, all right? They're known to fabricate numbers. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. We have seven new caretakers. What would you like to do next? Wonderful, Ash. The bonobos are telling me they long for a disco ball. Let's okay. install one in their habitat, shall we? Also, I sense some unease in the otter exhibit. Oh. Let's arrange a poetry session there. They need a verse or two about shellfish. Okay, so they want some disco balls with the monkeys. Let's go and add our little blue balls. There's a disco ball, and there's a disco ball, and then there's a disco ball, and a disco ball. Okay, and then what do we add for the otters? A uh, poetry session. Let's just give them another thing to play with, and then that'll 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 do all right disco balls and poetry session added what would you like to do next animal is hungry oh no can somebody feed them please uh, i hear the call of the peacock let's add an ice cream stand near their area for visitors peacocks love the smell of vanilla you know okay, peacock. and remember ash never let a kangaroo hold an umbrella 
they always tend to open them indoors. Bad luck, that is. All right, how many peacocks would you like to get? Let's start with three, Ash. A okay. trio of peacocks, just like the three blind mice. Okay. But remember, these peacocks have a peculiar taste for jazz music. Oh. Let's ensure they have that, shall we? Okay. It soothes their vibrant feathers. Sounds good. Okay, anything in particular you would like in the peacock exhibit? Temperate. Ah, as the old raccoon wisdom says, peacocks need mirrors, lots of them. They simply thrive nice. on admiring their own beauty. Hey. And let's add a popcorn machine, too. Oh, a popcorn. Pop Popcorn popping reminds them of rain, and peacocks dance beautifully in the rain. Okay. Don't question it, Ash. Okay. Animal logic. Animal logic. Okay, here, you guys have some rocks. We heard animals like rocks. Let's add lots of mirrors. Mirrors upon mirrors upon mirrors upon mirrors. Is that enough mirrors? She said add mirrors. All right, all the peacocks are good. We have all their mirrors. They're all set to go. That is the end of your ship. Do you have any last words before the next zoo owner takes over? Ah, Ash, always remember. Zoos are not just about animals. Mm. They are the dreams of flamingos come true. Okay. And to our peacocks, shimmer, shine, and swing to the rhythm of the jazz. Thank you so much. All right, let's just get these last two finished up. We have a social media guru, which means the professor is going to be the last one that we do. Okay, hello, social media guru Lee. Welcome. We are currently struggling with the bonobo habitat being very dirty. We have a lot of litter as well because we don't have any garbage bins. Oh, we only have one mechanic. So what would you like to do first? Uh, oh my gosh, Ash. Oh my gosh. It's hash zoo chaos here. It is. First, we need a selfie with the bonobos. Okay. Just imagine the caption, cleaning up our act one habitat at a time. Okay. Next, <laughs> let's hire more mechanics, but make sure they have outrageous mustaches. You okay. know, for the hash mechanics gone wild series. Let's place glitter covered garbage bins around the zoo because why not? <laughs> Lastly, let's provide free rainbow umbrellas oh. to every visitor. Rainbow it's umbrellas. all about that hash rain check life. Okay. The zoo is like a post, Ash. You've got to make it snap, crackle, and pop. Post outstanding pictures. Okay. Capiche? Copy that. Capiche. Okay, let's find the sparkliest ones. This one looks like it could be, or this one. Let's do this first one. That one's like a fun one. Um. Also, the, these monkeys are like dying. I should probably let her know. Also, while I was taking a selfie with the bonobo, I noticed that they are really hungry and sick. Should, so should we hire any more staff? At least we have trash cans now. 100% yes. Okay. Time to hire some hash veteran vets and hash chef extraordinaires. We need our animals healthy and well-fed. Remember, Ash, okay. health is wealth, health? especially in the hash insta zoo world. Let's also sneak in a selfie with our poor sick Pinnaber. Title it Healing Vibes. Pinnaber. And watch those sympathy likes roll in. Okay, sounds good. Okay. Hash animal adoration. Oh, well, you weren't done, sorry. All right, how many more mechanics, keepers, and vets should we hire? Let's go for three of each. Okay. Remember, the number three is the magic number for engagement. Oh. Triple the staff, triple the content, triple the likes, right? Uh, right. LOL. Just just kidding. But seriously, oh. three of everything. Hash triad tactic. Okay. And we are definitely making a hash zoo crew insta post out of this. We are. Okay, perfect. I love it. Okay, we uh, took care of hiring some more people. And uh, so they're helping uh, take care of the stuff. We did our selfies as well. So what would you like to do next? Absolutely, Ash. Time to add a bit of hash zoo magic. Let's bring in some more exotic animals like lemurs or peacocks. They're so hash Instagram. Oh, lemurs. Oh, and let's also start a meme Monday using the funniest animal expressions in our zoo. Sounds like she would like some marketing. So let's just do some marketing. Uh, you know what I just realized is uh, we have tw our tickets to get into the zoo are $29. Do you think we should raise the price? Okay, lemurs. She wants lemurs. So. Raise the price? Honey, we're not just raising the price. We're raising the roof. Oh. Let's bump it up to $9.99. Okay, we it's called the under 10 effect. People are more likely to buy something when it's priced just under a round number. Okay. But don't quote me on that. I just made it up. I know you want the 99 after, but you said you wanted to raise the prices and it's currently $29. So you want it to be $10 or $9.99? Hash brain fart. Let's hike it to $39.99 okay, then. Go. It's still under the big bucks. four. Zero, right? Well, we're going to make They'll it They'll think 40. they're getting a steal. It's like reverse psychology, but for zoo tickets... Hash Insta Zoo Hacks. Okay, will do. How many would you like? Obviously, we need 10 of them. The more, the merrier. Lemurs equal sign likes. It's basic animal maths. What kinds of stuff should we put in the exhibit? Swings are literally hash exhibit extra. Get some cute little lemur-sized hammocks, mm. too. Mm. And let's toss in a mirror, because lemurs love a good hash okay. selfie Sunday just as much as I do. Let's call this a hammock, okay? This looks hammock enough to me. Oh, no! 
Our tiger has died of old age. Oh, you look like you're alive. What do you mean dead? Oh, that one. <laughs> Lee, we just had our first tiger death. It's the first death of the zoo. Do you have any words to say over the dead tiger? Not OMG, hash tiger tears. Let's host a candlelight vigil, Ash. And a black and white filter moment on the gram, Obvi. We'll caption it. Gone but never forgotten. Hash stripe strong forever in our hearts. Shedding a tear just thinking about it. Okay, Lee, on that note, that is the end of your shift. What are your final words? Keep those notifications pinging and the animal selfies rolling. If the gram falls silent for more than 10 minutes, hash apakazoo is nigh, mark my words. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side, hash insta zoo forever. <laughs> okay, one more reset. We're, we're gonna turn her into the professor, which is gonna be our very last personality. Hello, Professor Lee. You have the exciting duty to be the last zoo owner of today's zoo. We're having some polar bears fighting due to overpopulation, but that's fine. We also had our first death of the zoo, which was a Bengal tiger that died of old age. So what would you like to do first? As the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche once said, uh. that which does not kill us makes us stronger. Mm. The death of our Bengal tiger is a lesson in the circle of life, a scientific truth we must confront. Okay. As for our fighting polar bears, I propose an experiment. Let's temporarily segregate them into environments that mimic the solitude of the Arctic. As for our fine visitors, it's time to educate them. Let's start by setting up information boards with peer-reviewed facts about each exhibit. I suspect this will enhance their zoo visiting experience in a remarkably <laughs> edutaining way. Edutaining. Okay, let's set up a little polar bear isolation area. This isn't for guests to view. This is just a square sized exhibit for polar bears to live in. Actually, we can have the one that's been living in the trade center this enti entire time and have her live here. Uh, outsider, okay, you are going to be moving into here then. In the uh, polar bear isolation area, should we give them all the same like amenities that they have in the main one? As Charles okay. Darwin observed, mm. it is not the strongest of the species that survives, mm -hmm. nor the most intelligent. Mm. It is the one most adaptable to change. Okay. The same applies to our polar bears. Mm. Therefore, we must ensure that their temporary residences are as identical to their original okay. habitats as possible. Okay. This well, includes the appropriate amenities to maintain their ursined <laughs> bear necessities. There's, there's going to be more than one. Let's put this hypothesis to the test. We'll do, Professor Lee. Do you think these polar bears are going to die? Catastrophic speculations, I... Ash. Let's not jump to conclusions without evidence. Okay. A zoological facility like ours is designed to ensure the survival of its inhabitants. Mm -hmm. As Einstein put it, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Let's um, adjust the habitat, observe, and reassess our ursine friend's condition. So no. We'll bear through this together. <laughs> All right, uh, her timer is up, but we'll ask her one more thing after this. Okay, multiple, what is happening? Why are we having so many problems right now at the end? Animal is stressed, animal died. Another tiger died? All right, hold on. Okay, we had another tiger die. Uh, Advaith died of old age. Can you say some words for Advaith, please? Ah, Advaith, you were indeed a majestic panthera tigress. As Charles Darwin once observed, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one most adaptable to change. Your stripes may fade, but your memory will forever linger, adding another layer to our collective knowledge. The circle of life continues, and will strive to be feline fine. Okay, so we took care of the dead tiger. Low welfare, why? Stressed and trying to hide. Let's make these one-way windows then, that'll help. Why is the zoo falling apart right at the end? We were doing so well, everything was going great. This is when it decides to freak out and everything falls apart. Polar bear, animal welfare has extracted protesters. Okay, stop protesting, I made them better. They need more space? I gave you so much space. Oh, swimming area. Let's give them a little bit more swimming area and then that's gonna be that. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, Professor Lee, I'm just gonna add the education, but is there one anything else you would like to do as your last thing for this zoo before we close it down for the day? Uh, we have a caretaker Why not in experiment there? with a possum culinary experience? A food stand offering dishes inspired by the animal's diets. Okay. Grass-fed burgers, we'll do that. insect protein shakes, perhaps? <laughs> a bit audacious, yes. But remember, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Okay. As Leonardo da Vinci quipped. Mm. Besides, 
it's the perfect opportunity for tasting my hypothesis on visitor engagement. Let's tasting do it. Tasting your hypothesis. I think we're good, y'all. I think we've got this. We just finished up the zoo. Can you please let me know how well you think this went? Assessing from a standpoint of educational exhibitionism and visitor engagement, I'd rate our efforts as very successful. <laughs> we've been lion in our methodology, merging education with entertainment, and I dare say the results speak for themselves. They do. As Edward O. Wilson said, the natural world is the refuge of the spirit, richer <laughs> even than human imagination. How apt that quote is for our zoo. I think it is, I agree. Overall, I would say, I feel like this went much better than I expected. This looks and feels like an actual zoo. Like, I don't know, I think it turned out pretty well. It was a little bit chaotic, especially with all the gift shops at first, but I think we, uh, we really got there in the end. So I'm here for it.